Hey everyone, wanted to make a video to show you how you can incorporate external dependencies into your CDK based Lambda function using Python. Um, so I have a couple of videos where I help people set up a Lambda CDK project, but this is the first time I tried to work on something where I actually needed to bring in an external dependency. And so I wanted to show you how I got this set up using a different Python uh, CDK construct for your Lambda function. So let me lay out the problem for you really quick first. So this is just a very basic init app. Um, I'm building a serverless web crawler like you can see here just as a little pet project. And you can see here that there's a requirements.txt file. And you would think that you would need to add your external dependencies into this requirements.txt file. However, this requirements file is only kind of related to the code that defines your uh, Lambda stack or your CDK based stack. So if you put extra dependencies in here, like AWS CDK lib and constructs and all that, that's only going to be related to your stack definition and not your actual Lambda code. So if your Lambda code is trying to use a special dependency and you put something in this file, it's not going to work. So uh, the way that you get around this is by using a different construct for Lambda and Python. So I added a new dependency here, AWS Lambda Python Alpha, like you can see. And this is going to allow us to bring in those external dependencies. So let me show you what we have in our actual stack file really quick. Uh, you can see here I'm bringing in two imports. I have my normal AWS Lambda uh, as the underscore Lambda and my new uh, experimental Python Alpha Lambda as underscore A Lambda. And that's one thing I wanted to point out too. This new thing is an experimental feature from CDK, but it seems to be pretty stable. It's working correctly, no problems there. Um, so, you know, you don't have to be scared of this or anything else. But anyways, this is how I define my function here. So I'm just saying initiator underscore A Lambda dot Python function. And this is where the key distinction is in the old way you would just say dot function and then define some actual different parameters here not the ones that i'm specifying so we're passing itself we're passing it a name uh, we need to give it the entry point to where our lambda function code is located my lambda function code is located in this directory here it's at the top directory uh, in a lambda folder you also need to give it the runtime. The runtime I'm extracting from um, the, the constant from the uh, old Lambda construct library, so underscore Lambda, and I'm using runtime Python 3.9. And then for index here, this is just the name of the file that contains your Lambda code. So you see here in my case, I have a file called initiator.py. Uh, so I'm putting initiator.py here. And then handler is just equal to the name of the function that's going to be the entry point for your function. So in my case, in initiator here, you can see I have um, handle as the function. So that's what it's going to be pointing to. And by the way, this is the code that I have in my Lambda function. I'm just messing around with uh, beautiful soup and the request library here and the problem that I was running into is that when I was trying to kind of run Sam local with these uh, dependencies it was saying uh, dependency not found blah 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 uh, which led me on this whole thing on trying to figure out how to incorporate external dependencies anyways uh, another thing that you need to do here is you can see I have a different requirements.txt file and it's in the same directory as where my lambda function code is located and in this uh, requirements.txt this is is where I'm putting all the dependencies that I'm actually going to be using in my real Lambda function. So this is a different requirements.txt file um, that's not the same one as the one I have at the root level, which is you know all the CDK stuff that we need to define our uh, function in terms of setting up our CDK project. So these are two very different things here. So once you uh, kind of do all this, I don't think I did anything different at all, by the way. This is like a very standard project here with no real changes or additions. Uh, make sure you open up your terminal and you probably want to uh, install the um, new constructs that you incorporated in here or else you're not going to get autocomplete when you're setting up your stack, uh, which can be a problem. So I think I have the command saved. Yeah, so it's just pip install dash r requirements dot txt. This will install um, all the dependencies that you need for the Python function um, alpha construct here. Once you did that, you can just run your normal CDK synth. 
And this should um, output our uh, template.yaml file, which is going to be used to upload to the cloud. I did notice that when I ran this initially, maybe because I'm using the uh, alpha construct, it kind of turned my laptop into a rocket engine and was like took really long. But it seems like after the first time, it's much quicker. So now once you do that, you can uh, just run sam deploy. Or sorry, not SAM deploy. Uh, you want to do CDK deploy. I'm thinking of uh, SAM here. Uh, so yeah, CDK deploy, and this is going to uh, load it up into the AWS cloud. And once this is done, I'll bring you into the console so we can take a look at this and just verify that everything was working correctly. Okay, so here I am in the AWS console. This is the Lambda function that I just created. Let's check out what's going on with this thing here. And so when we scroll down here to take a look at the code, immediately you can see in addition to the code that we have normally that was part of my initiator.py file, we see all of those external dependencies. We see BS4 for beautiful soup. Uh, we see the request library and all of this other stuff is probably just related to beautiful soup and requests. So dependencies of those dependencies. So now if I try to uh, kind of uncomment this, so I'm trying to use requests and beautiful soup for, hey, let's just like uncomment this stuff to show that we're actually using the library and then uh, deploy this. This may take a moment or so to deploy. And okay, that's done. Now, if we try to press test, this should not result in an error. And you see here, it's giving us a warning and you know everything is working correctly here. There's no uh, dependency not found or import not found error like we I was seeing or some of you may have been seeing in the past. Now, if you want to learn more about this uh, new construct here, there is some documentation over here, uh, just pypy.org. You can check out the AWS Lambda Python Alpha page, which is where I'm at right here. This gives you some other good examples too. Also, if you want to incorporate this using Lambda layers, I'm hopeful that this alpha uh, construct gets included in the core construct soon, so you don't have to kind of keep on defining a separate one here or a separate import that is. Uh, but yeah, I hope this video was useful and helped unblock some people trying to import some external dependencies in their Python Lambda project. Let me know what you think in the comment section below and thanks so much for watching.